Hey guys, this is Jean-Claude, and you better prepare yourselves for a long one. Today's video, we're not opening one, we're not opening two, we're going to be opening up six decks, and it's going to be for patrons. So if this is your first time seeing our fancy schmancy way we pick, oh my gosh, here it is. We got two bowls, we're going to draw three names from each. Let's just do them one at a time here. So take from the left side first, let's mix them up, give them a nice little... Okay, uh, let's go for this one. And this first deck right here is going to, drum roll please. I can do a drum roll every time. Start it out. Here we go. What is it? It's going to open this way. Yeah, okay, here we go. The first deck is for Reese James. Congratulations. Let's see what you have. Also, whenever we do these mass openings, anytime it's more than one deck, we don't really go through all the strategy. We'll read about it. We'll maybe talk about things that stand out, but we gotta go through these pretty quick. Otherwise, this will take me forever. Star Lance, Brabnar, and Dis. Turbidly Charming, Nettie. Huge Archon, let's see what we got. And of course, we got to see Brabnar in this deck. I mean, why wouldn't we see Brabnar? Let's go ahead and put the Brabnar counter up here. We'll keep a live and up-to-date Brabnar counter all the way throughout this entire video. So anytime we open it, boom, you're going to see that uptick. All right. And inside this deck for Reese James, we have... Oh, Quizzlestone. <laughs> Fantastic. We're starting off with Star Alliance. It's an artifact. And whatever you play it. If a player has more creatures in play than their opponent, they cannot play creatures. I do not have one of those yet. Stunner, it's an upgrade. And whatever you play it, this creature gains fight reap. You may stun a creature. Quitrino Flux, choose a friendly creature and an enemy creature, destroy the chosen creatures, and each creature with the same power as either of the chosen creatures. Zap, Amber, whenever you play, deal one damage to a creature for each house represented among creatures in play. I just realized I'm going to lose my voice by the time we finish this thing. Psy, Officer, Quincan, two power, elusive. After a player chooses an active house which matches no cards in play, you get to steal one. A second Quincan. Red Alert, if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, deal damage to each enemy creature equal to the difference. Light of the Archons, it's an upgrade. Amber W, play it. This creature gets plus one power and plus one armor for each upgrade attached to it. First Officer Fran, it's four power. Play, fight, reap. A friendly creature captures one. Calm Officer Kirby, three power. Play, fight, reap. You may play a non-Star Alliance artifact upgrade or action card this turn. Cloaking Dongle, it's an upgrade. Amber W, play it. This creature and each of its neighbors gains elusive. Very good in Star Alliance. A lot of them don't have a second one. They don't necessarily have elusive, so giving it to them is very powerful. We're on a disc, it's Sinistra, 5 power. After your opponent plays a creature on their left flank, they lose an amber. Spider's 2 power, Skirmish, gains poison while attacking an enemy flank creature. Skolion, 7 power, 2 armor. Whenever you play it, sacrifice a friendly creature. Bornit, 3 power, Reap, reveal the top 5 cards of a player's deck. Purge card revealed this way, shuffle the other revealed cards into that deck, breaks up combos. The Evil Eye, Amber W play it, keys cost plus 3 amber during your opponent's next turn. Misery Exploit, you gain an Amber for each damaged enemy creature. Malison is 5 power. Fight, you may move an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Then if it is on a flank, it captures one Amber from its own side. Harbinger of Doom is 2 power, 3 armor. When it's destroyed, destroy each creature. Exhume, Amber whenever you play it, choose a creature in your discard pile. You may play that creature as if it belonged to the active house and was in your hand. Pretty good considering we had all the play effects in Star Alliance. Draining Touch, destroy a creature with no Amber on it. Buzzle, three power skirmish, play fight. You may purge one of Buzzle's neighbors if you do ready Buzzle. Binding Irons, your opponent gains three chains. And now we're on to Brobnar, Grand's Brew. One Amber and you play it, give a creature two plus one power counters. And of course there's Mega Grand Nine Toes, seven power. Gets plus four power while it's damaged. Shattered Throne's a nice card, it's an artifact. Amber and you play it, after a creature is used to fight, it captures an Amber. Little Rapscal, two power elusive, creatures must fight when used if able. Ooh, almost dropped it there. Gravel Guts, 5 power. After an enemy creature is destroyed fighting Gravel Guts, it gets 2 plus 1 power counters. Warriors Refrain, Amber and you play it, stun each creature with power 3 or lower. Tremor stuns the creature and each of its neighbors. Stilt can oh gosh, we already have two creatures in here with low power. It's 2 power skirmish. After a giant creature is played adjacent to Stiltkin, ready and fight with Stiltkin. Iron Staff, it's an artifact, Amber and you play it. Action enrage a creature, give that creature a plus 1 power counter, not too bad actually with that Stiltkin. Also, there's a normal Grant Nine Toes, 5 power, same deal. Calfine, 5 power before the fight, deal 2 damage to each neighbor of the creature Calfine fights. And the last card, typically is a Laka, 4 power. If you've used a creature to fight this turn, enters play ready. Okay, so interesting little deck, had a little bit of amber control across each house, so not too bad. The Star Alliance, uh, you know what, with the Quizzle Stone, I'm not sure <laughs> whether or not you're going to play that. It seemed to be a, a pretty heavy creature deck. 
All right, let's mix them up a little bit more. And let's take this one. Is it one? Oh, there's two. Okay, here we go. So, who is going to get the second deck of the video? It is... Looks like it's... Oh, need to put it this way. Rick Fulford. Congratulations. And good luck on this deck. Now, if we do hit any cards we've already seen in the video, I will speed up by... I'll pretty much skim over them. Uh, I'm not going to read cards we've already read in a previous deck. Oh, not sure why I pulled that back here. I guess it was just in a rush, but hold up. Uh, so it's Sorion Dis... Uh, another Brobnar. Add to that counter. Goodness. Oh, man. Okay. Did not mean to pull that up there, uh, but I guess I'm not really showing the houses uh, one by one anyway. It's Ulysses, Regent of the Prominent Grid. All right. Good luck to you, Rick. So two decks, two with Brobnar, and we have one each of the brand new houses. And, uh, what, let's see, they both have this as well, okay. This is, seems to be a common house that I've been seeing a lot. Uh, unfortunately, haven't been opening, like, really cool ones. They have, like, a lot of Infernuses and Hysterias. It's been a little bit more tame, kind of, uh, not too bad, though. Sometimes we get cool combos, like Obsidian Forge with the Harbinger. Alright, oh, gosh. It's taking a moment to get it, this thing open. Alright, good luck to you, Rick. And we are starting off with Sorians. Okay, Sorius Rex is a leader. Six power fight reap. If Sorius Rex is in the center of your battle line, you may exalt it. If you do, search your deck for a Sorian card, reveal it, add it to your hand, then shuffle your deck. This card is so good. Wow. Big fan of that. Pterodactyl, 12 power, enters play stunned. Only deals four damage when fighting. Before the fight, deal four damage to each neighbor of the creature Pterodactyl fights. Gargantadin. Wow, you got the big guys. 16 power, enters play stunned. Only deals 4 damage when fighting. Each amber that would be stolen is captured by a creature controlled by the active player instead. A second Gargantadon. That's insane. Tricerian Legionary, 5 power, 1 armor, taunt. Play, ward a friendly creature. Redder Gallum, 3 power, play. Your opponent's keys cost plus 3 amber during their next turn. Reap, you may exalt it. If you do, your opponent's keys cost plus 3 amber during the next turn. Actually, a good target to search for with that Sorius Rex if you need to take your opponent off a key. Quester Jarda is 3 power elusive. Reap, you may exalt it. If you do, gain an amber. Always good to do it because it's a delayed amber for your opponent. And you got a second one. Fan Lake Strike. Amber every play. It. Choose a creature. Deal one damage to it for each friendly creature. You may exalt a friendly creature to repeat the preceding effect. Imperium, one Amber Navy Plate, War two friendly creatures. Imperial Scutum, it's an upgrade Amber Navy Plate. This creature gets plus two armor and gains destroyed. Move each Amber from this creature to the common supply. Not sure if we can see tribute after this, but that would be cool. Chanta Hubris, it's an Amber Navy Plate. Move one Amber from a creature to another creature. Now we're on to Dis. Greater Oxted is four power taunt. At the end of your ready card step, purge a card from your hand. If you do, it gets plus two power counters. This guy essentially starts out as a six power taunt. That's pretty nice. Can get bigger every turn. And it can get rid of bad cards in your deck. Love it. Blood Shard Imp is two power. After a creature reaps, its controller must sacrifice it. A second Blood Shard Imp. <laughs> a third Blood Shard Imp. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, oh, my. <laughs> All right, you have four Blood Shard Imps. Um, I guess with this many, we'll have to say something about it. Uh, this card is sometimes iffy. It's great if you know you're going to be calling this next turn. If you have other creatures, you can get off the board. Or you force your opponent to have to take it off your board before they can reap because they don't necessarily want to lose the creatures. Uh, four in one deck. I don't know how I feel about that, though. I was going to say, can you imagine if there was a fifth one? The Evil Heights and Amber Debbie Plate. Keys cost plus three Amber during your opponent's next turn. Not finished with you, so you can bring them all back. Amber Debbie Plate. Shuffle any number of creatures from your discard pile into your deck. Malison, 5 power. Fight, you may move an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Then if it is on a flank, it captures one amber from its own side. We saw Exhum earlier, so you can return creatures. A second Exhum. <laughs> to really make your opponent have to deal with your blood shard imps. Draining touch we saw before, destroying creatures, binding irons. Okay, gaining chains, very nice. Now we're on to Brobnar. It's the floor is lava. It's an artifact, amber never you play it. At the start of your turn, deal one damage to a friendly creature and one damage to an enemy creature. You almost kind of want to see Narp in here, just because I don't think we had any armor with our other creatures, but then again, we had some big Sorions, so it's not too bad to target those. Oh my gosh. Brobnar and your tiny creatures in this set. What have you done, FFG? Slimy Jark is one power, skirmish and elusive, fight. Enrage the creature, Slimy Jark fights. Skull is not too bad, three power, assault three. After an enemy creature is destroyed by Skull's assault damage, give a friendly creature a plus one power counter. Power of fire, sacrifice a friendly creature. If you do, each player loses amber equal to half that creature's power, rounding down the loss. Gain one chain. Little Rapscal, oh god. Fire breath, 
It's an upgrade, and whenever you play it, this creature gets plus three power and gains before the fight. Deal two damage to each neighbor of the creature this creature fights. Blood money. Place two amber from the common supply on an enemy creature. Tremor, we saw that before. Stunning. Stiltkin. Oh my god. Oh gosh. Oh my. There's so many tiny Brobnar creatures in here. That is not that good. But then again, this is pretty good with that upgrade, making this a five power creature that you can essentially use right away if you have a giant. Not too bad. Shorty, four power. Assault, four. Reap, enrage, shorty. Narp, okay. So you have another good target for the floor is lava. Eight power, one armor. Narp's neighbors cannot reap. And the final card is barn raising for the remainder of the turn. Your opponent loses amber each time a friendly creature fights. Well, I would have felt better if there would have been some better Brobnar creatures in there, but I also feel like we say that almost every single time about Brobnar. What is it with this set and Brobnar? Okay, so I hope you still like the deck though, Rick. All right, let's grab another name here, mix it up. Okay, and we'll stop. Let's just grab whatever this is. You're going to get this deck right here. We have a pretty good pace so far. And the third winner for today, Mitchell Peak. Congratulations. Let's see what your deck has in store for us. Oh, I almost pulled it up. Let's remember to show it. Then we can slowly reveal that Brobnar, right? I'm sure that counter is going to go straight up to three. I mean, why wouldn't it? Brobnar is just the house you want to see in Worlds Collide. So let's just see more of it. Logos. Oh, I was kidding. I swear to God, I was kidding. No. No. Oh. All right. Bump it up to three. That is unbelievable. And this is the third. Wow, we've opened. Wait a minute. All three of these decks so far have had both Brobnar and Dis. And then we've had a different house to pair with them. So Logos and then the Star Alliance and Sorions. That is really creepy. All right, it's Jamal New City Dream Chaser. Okay, interesting name at least. Like the Dream Chaser part. What the heck is your Brobnar gonna have? Actually, maybe at the end of this video, you guys should comment down below which deck had the best Brobnar. Because <laughs> we're gonna somehow, we won't pull off a way that we're gonna have six Brobnar decks here. It's gonna be absolutely insane. All right, we're starting off with Logos. It's Memory Chip, it's an artifact. After you choose Logos as your active house, archive a card. Group Think Tank, 4 power, 3 armor. Action, deal 4 damage to each creature that shares a house with at least one of its neighbors. Pretty good card. Wormhole Technician, 3 power, reap, reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a Logos card, play it, otherwise archive it. Wild Wormhole, Amber W play it, play the top card of your deck. A second Wild Wormhole. Tau Tile Vapors, draw 2 cards, archive a card. Information Exchange, steal an Amber. If your opponent stole Amber from you on their previous turn, steal 2 instead. Hapsis, 5 power. After an enemy creature is destroyed, fighting Hapsis, ward it, and draw a card. A second Hapsis. Igor's 2 power. Play. Look at the top 3 cards of your deck. Add 1 to your hand and discard the others. Ha! Huh, another Igor. This is a pretty interesting Logos. Cutthroat Research. Amber, whenever you play it, steal 2 Amber if your opponent has 8 or more. Now we're on to Dis. It's Thieves Bane. Amber, whenever you play it, destroy a Thief creature. Soul Snatcher, oh boy, there's a lot of times you don't want to play this card. It's an artifact. Each time a creature is destroyed, its owner gains one amber. Skolion is 7 power, 2 armor. Play it, sacrifice a friendly creature. Poltergeist, amber whenever you play it, use an artifact controlled by any players. If it were yours, destroy that artifact. A second Poltergeist. Not finished with you, amber whenever you play it, shuffle any number of creatures from your discard pile into your deck. Imp Spectre, 2 power destroyed. Purge a random card from your opponent's hand. A second Inspector? <laughs> a third Inspector? Wait a minute. Has every deck had at least three of one card? I can't remember if the first one did. It did, right? Man, almost here. Let me glance at the... Did I put the Archon card up top? Let me look at this. Wasn't there three of something in here? No, no. Just a couple of twos. Okay, no. The, we had four. <laughs> Count them four. Blood Shard imps in the other deck. All right, so there's our third. Will there be a fourth? Oh, no. Festering Touch. Amber, whatever you play it. Choose up to two creatures. Deal one damage to each chosen creature. If that creature is already damaged, deal three instead. Dendrix is five power. Fight your opponent. Discards a random card from their hand. A second Dendrix. And now on to Brobnar, and this is a pretty cool card. Pile of Skulls. It's an artifact. Each time an enemy creature is destroyed during your turn, a friendly creature captures an Amber. Good Amber control. Ragwarg is an artifact as well. Amber, whatever you play it. After a creature reaps, if it is the first time a creature has reaped this turn, deal two damage to it. Flamethrower is an artifact. Action, deal one damage to a creature with a one damage splash. We saw Tremor in the other two decks. Hey, there's of course Stiltkin. Why not? Oh gosh, two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, it's going to be a race to see which is the best Bravnar. Shorty as well. We saw that in the last deck. Hey, Mog Hunter, a new one. Six power fight. Deal two damage to a flank creature. Another Gron, nine tails. Alaka. Wait, there's more cards behind Alaka. So what could they be? It's a second Alaka. Oh, no. I think there's another one. <laughs> Oh, three lockers. <laughs> oh my, okay, well, I mean, they can be good. I guess there's a few bigger Bravnar creatures. All right, I hope you like that, Mitchell. All right, we're gonna set this bowl aside so I can't accidentally grab from it. We're gonna go straight to this bowl now. Mix it up a little, of course. And we're just gonna grab, oh, what's in my hand here? Is it one? Hopefully it's one. Oh shoot, uh, it's two, okay, there we go. So we have one here. You're gonna get this deck right here. Good luck to you. And the winner is, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's a chance that some of your names are in both these bowls, depending on what level patron you are. So, okay, Mitchell, congratulations. You have yourselves two decks. Very nice. Let's see what you have in this one. And can we please break this Brabnar streak? I know I said before, oh yeah, let's keep opening them, but I seriously do not want to keep seeing Brabnar. Although I guess it does make it easier if I keep having Brabnar cards, I won't have to see them, right? Hmm, let's get all these houses again. Oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All right, here we go. This, well, of course there's this. Shadows, <gasps> could this be the first time we don't see Brabnar? Is this counter not going to move? Oh! <laughs> no way. <sighs> all right, sorry guys, I just collapsed right there. And of course it's Brabnar. Why wouldn't it be Brabnar? <laughs> This has to be some sort of record, guys. Okay, I need someone to go back and look at these other decks I've opened this box. If they all had Dis and Brabnar in them, is this like the Dis Brabnar box? Every deck so far today, Dis Brabnar. This should not be possible. All right, at least this one has Shadows. And whoa, that is a huge, crazy, almost like a... It's not an Arachnid because it only has six legs, but that's a cool-looking Archon there. Craig Jacka of the Baker's Tent. Good luck to you, Mitchell, on your second deck. All right, let's throw it over here, I guess, running out of room on the other side. And we are starting off with Shadows. It's Brabnar Plant. This will be really good if you're playing against these decks over here. Brabnar Plant, one power elusive. After a player chooses Brabnar as their active house, gain an amber. Actually, let's move the bowl a little bit. We Sand is one power, deploy elusive. While it's on a flank, destroy it. After a player forges a key, gain two amber. Subtle Chain, amber never you play it. Your opponent discards a random card from their hand. Brend the Fanatic, three power skirmish, play your opponent gains an amber, but when it's destroyed, you get to steal three amber. Hopefully we find a good way to destroy that. Trust no one, steal an amber. If there are no friendly creatures in play, instead steal one amber for each house represented among enemy creatures to a maximum of three. Ronnie Wrist Clocks, two power, play steal an amber. If your opponent has seven or more, you get to steal two instead. A second Ronnie of the Shadows is looking out. Oh! Oh my gosh, a third Ronnie! Wow, that is a lot of power. Oh! <laughs> What is going on with these decks today? You have a fourth Ronnie. Oh my, wait, and there's Dis in here too, right? Of course there's Dis in here. Every deck has Dis. Imagine getting some Exhumes in here. I don't know, like not finished with you. Uh, it's kind of exciting. All right, well, very cool. You got four Ronnie wrist clocks. Oh, and a Kaimor Eclipse to shuffle him back in the deck. As I just alluded to, yes, you shuffle each flank creature into its owner's deck. Very nice. A second Kaimor Eclipse. That's a lot of synergy right there. Hugger Mugger, three power elusive. Play, capture an amber. Then if your opponent has more forged keys than you, get to steal one. Now we're on to disc. Come on, Exhum. It's no name, one power. Gets plus one power for each purged card. Play, fight, reap, purge a card in a discard pile. Library of the Damned, it's an artifact, action archive card. Save those Ronnies for when your opponent has six or seven amber. Gleeful Mayhem, and whenever you play it, for each house, deal five damage to a creature of that house. Ooh, wow. E on the fringes, one power elusive. During your turn, after you discard a discard from your hand, you may purge a discard from a discard pile. If you do, steal an amber. You got a lot of steel in this deck. Oh, a second. Never seen two in one deck. That just makes it a little bit more consistent. Very nice. <laughs> what, what is going on today? All these multiples. You have three E on the fringes. I guess you don't mind burning one early on. Very, four. Oh my gosh, there's four E on the fringes in this deck. Okay, okay. I have never actually seen a deck with two cards that had four copies each. This is really crazy. And what's really amazing about this is every one of these cards steal. This is pretty powerful. Rot Grub, one power. Play your opponent loses an amber. Reap, archive it. 
Not finished with you, Amber, whenever you play it, shuffle any number of creatures from your discard pile into your deck. Malison is five power, fight, you may move an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Then if it is on a flank, it captures one from its own side. Lithal's five power, fight, reap, capture an amber. Dendrix, we saw him earlier, making your opponent discard cards, huh? The same rare in Brobner as we saw before, the floor is lava, that's where it pings each creature. Oh, another leader. Kalak, Stonefather, six power. While it's in the center of your battle line, each friendly creature gains skirmish. They say this is the weakest one. It's still not bad being able to control your opponent's board and still reap with the remaining creatures. Being able to control your opponent's board every turn is a very powerful tool. The Flex. Choose a ready, friendly Brabnar creature. Exhaust it and gain amber equal to its power, rounding down the game. Shattered Throne. It's an artifact. Amber whatever you play it. After a creature is used to fight, it captures one amber. Power of Fire. Sacrifice a friendly creature. If you do, each player loses amber equal to half of that creature's power, rounding down the loss. Gain one chain. Little Rap Skull, just realized I didn't have to read that last one or this one. Flame Wake Shaman, four power play, deal two damage to a creature. Get over here. A second one, oh my gosh, can you imagine if there's three or four of these? No, okay. Warriors Refrain saw the earlier stunning creatures, power three or less. Narp we saw earlier as well, not too bad, a second Narp. And the last card of this deck is Calfine five power before the fight, deal two damage to each neighbor of the creature Calfine fights. That was a really interesting deck. Uh, so far it has my vote for just my favorite sort of looking one. You can almost say it has too much steel because uh, 4E on the fringes, I mean, that's a little excessive. Alright, now let's find out who gets the, what's fifth deck. Moving right along. This is going to be, alright, here we go. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy to edit this one. It's going to be very, very long. Alright, come on, open up here. And our fifth deck, oops, oh, this way, is going to go to... Vault Boy 81, congratulations. Let's see what you have inside your deck. And <laughs> just uh, want to point out once again, look at this counter over here. Yes, it's currently at four. There are four Brobnar decks so far. Four out of four. Right now we have a perfect streak. Okay, here we go. The moment of truth. Will we see Brobnar? Untamed. <gasps> Logos, that means we won't have Dis and Brobnar on this one. Oh, and this. Okay, well, we had one of them, and I guess if you had to choose one, you definitely want this over Brobnar. All right, this is Ogre Count, Bale, Shrumples, Duelist. Good luck to you, Vault Boy 81. Now, I just want to say it's completely unfair if you choose this deck as the winner of the Brobnar Challenge, because you got four decks already you have to choose from. Which one is the best Brobnar deck? All right, and here we go. Good luck to you, Vault Boy. And we're starting off with Untamed. It's Vine Apple Tree. It's an artifact. Amber, whenever you play it. Keys cost plus one amber for each growth counter on Vine Apple Tree. After a key is forged, remove each growth counter from it. Action, you can put a growth counter on it. The Feathered Shaman. Two power, elusive. Fight, reap, ward each of its neighbors. Unnatural Selection. Amber, whenever you play it, choose three friendly creatures and three enemy creatures. Destroy each other creature. Very good card. Oh, the second one of those. The Fittest. Amber, whenever you play it, give each friendly creature a plus one power counter. Tanta Delin is nine power, only deals two damage when fighting. Fight, discard a random card from your opponent's archives. A second one of those. Song of the Wild. For the remainder of the turn, each friendly creature gains reap, gain one amber. Rust Nars, four power. Fight, destroy an artifact. If that artifact had an amber bonus, you gain that much amber. Mustic Mermook is four power. Each keys cost plus one amber. Whenever you play it, deal four damage to a creature. Oh, we had a key charge. Lose an amber. If you do, you may forge a key at current cost. Ghost Talk is two power deploy. Play, you may reap with each neighboring creature one at a time. Now we're on to Logos, it's Seismo Entangler, it's an artifact, action. Choose a house, during your opponent's next turn, creatures of the chosen house cannot be used to reap. Discombobulator is an upgrade, Amber whenever you play it, this creature gains your Amber cannot be stolen. Thorium Plasmate, Amber whenever you play it, move an enemy creature anywhere in its controller's battle line. Deal two damage to that creature for each of its neighbors that share a house with it. We learned that you actually don't have to technically move the creature, it's just where it ends up, you then do this secondary effect right here. Tata Vapor saw that earlier, drawing cards and archiving. Sanitation Engineer is four power, hazardous one. Reap, discard a card from your hand. Hapsis saw him earlier, he's very good. Two of them in this deck, the last deck had two. Edie, three power, play, archive a card. Your opponent's keys cost plus one amber for each card in your archives. A second Edie, very nice. Daughter as well. Two power elusive, during your draw card step, refill your hand to one additional card. Cutthroat Research, Amber, whenever you play it. Steal two Amber if your opponent has eight or more Amber. Typically the last Logos card. Oh, there's one behind it. Babbling Bibliophile is one power. Reap, draw two cards. 
Now we're on to Dis Sinistra, five power. After your opponent plays a creature on their left flank, they lose an amber. We had one in one of these other decks. Crazy. Orb of Invidious. It's an artifact. Amber never you play it. After a creature reaps, stun it. Lesser Oxted is three power elusive. Play, purge each card in your hand. Reap keys cost plus three amber during your opponent's next turn. Snag is five power. Fight. Your opponent must choose the house of the creature. Snag fights as their active house on their next turn. Saw Poltergeist earlier. Very nice card. Obsidian Forge. It's an artifact. Amber never you play it. Action. Sacrifice any number of friendly creatures. Then you may forge key at plus six current cost. Reduced by one for each creature sacrificed this way. If you do, destroy Obsidian Forge. Born its touch is an amber whenever you play it. Reveal the top five cards of a player's deck. Purge a card revealed this way, then shuffle the revealed cards into the owner's deck. Saw the evil eye a couple times, making keys cost plus three. Rot grub, making them lose an amber, can possibly archive itself. Not finished with you, returning creatures. Inspector saw the earlier, destroyed purging cards, and bind irons to give your opponent three chains. That was a pretty interesting deck. All right, very nice. Uh, all these decks, have something at least interesting about them. It's always cool to see. All right, congratulations to you, Vault Boy 81. Now we're going to go to the last deck. Remember, there's our Brobnar counter. Oh, uh, let's just get her out here. Okay, who is it going to go to? All right, and is that one? I think it's, oh, is it two? I think it's one, okay. Oh, man, it's kind of, oh, we can see a little bit of who it is. Ah, okay, well, you're going to know who exactly who you are because you're the only one that has a name just like that. Jose Becerra, I'm going to guess. All right, good luck to you, Jose. Let's see what you got inside your deck. Let's finish strong. Let's just keep this Brobner counter where it's at. We don't need to go any higher. I think four is the perfect number. You don't want to see five. Okay, we have Untamed. Oh! <laughs> five out of six decks had Brobner. That is so, so weird. And I <laughs> think... Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Okay, two, three. Five out of six decks had Brobnar and Dis. This is astronomical. There has to be something wrong with this. That is, oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. You figure there has to be something wrong with the algorithm as far as randomization. Ah, oh, man, that is absolutely insane. Actually, I mean, Maybe it wouldn't it be a problem if it just so happened these houses were like the houses we're looking for? You know, Saurion, Star Alliance, and this maybe. I don't know. There are a lot of great combinations out there. Would have been crazy to just open up one of those, but instead we saw Brobnar and Dis. At least this is okay. All right, this is the Athletic Book Burner. Wow, the Athletic Book Burner. Hmm. Surprised the Book Burner's in there. All right, let's see what we have inside this thing. Let's also, for this final deck, not see really long text of cards I haven't read yet. Let's finish it out. Real quick, don't sit there and test me, deck. As expected, this is definitely the longest video ever on this channel. If you have made it this far, you have to like the video. Those are the rules. You have to like, and if you have not subscribed, guess what? That's another rule. You're going to have to subscribe. There's no getting out of it at this point. All right, let's finish off strong. Will this be the deck with the best Brobnar? Well, we're about to find out. Okay. And starting off with Untamed, it's Punctuated Equilibrium. I like this card a lot. Each player discards their hand, then refills their hand as if it was the end of their turn. Conga Fant is 5 power. Each creature gains reap. Destroy this creature. Grasping Vines, Amber never you play it. Return up the three artifacts to their owner's hands. The Fittest saw the earlier, put in power counters. Rust Nars, destroying artifacts. Regrowth, Amber never you play it. Return a creature from your discard pile to your hand. A second Regrowth. Imprinted Mermook, 3 power elusive. Your keys cost 1 less Amber. A second imprinted. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can you imagine if this deck had three or four of these? This is a really cool card to open up in multiples. Oh. All right, Harmonia is two power elusive. After you play a creature, if there are more enemy creatures than friendly creatures, gain an amber. Cauldron Boil, amber never you play it. Deal damage to each creature equal to the amount of damage on that creature. Bramble Lynx, three power skirmish. If you have used the creature to reap this turn, Bramble Lynx enters play ready. Now we're on to Dis. It snags mirror. It's an artifact. Amber never you play it. After a player chooses an active house, their opponent cannot choose the same house as their active house on their next turn. Spider saw that earlier. Skirmish and can poison its way through a flank creature. Born its touch saw that earlier. Rot Grub as well. Misery Exploit. Gain an amber for each damaged creature. Lithol is helping capture. Hey, first time we've seen Infernus today, which is kind of crazy. It's a common card. This is the sixth deck with Dissonant, and this is our first Infernus. How weird is today's opening, guys? Four power play. Purge up to two cards from a discard pile. Your opponent loses amber equal to the total amber bonus of the purged cards. 
Imp Spectre, purging cards of your opponent's hand. Harbinger helps control the board. Edorome is four power. Reap, destroy a creature of the house with the most creatures in play. Saw Dendrick several times today. Buzzle, three power skirmish, play, fight. You may purge one of Buzzle's neighbors. If you do, you ready, Buzzle. Now we're on to Brobnar. It's Rock Hurling Giant. Six power. During your turn, each time you discard a Brobnar card from your hand, you may deal four damage to a creature. Lava Ball. Deal four damage to a creature with a two damage splash. Oh, Dinosaur Hunter. Saw this, I believe, in the last video. Four power. Elusive. Action. Deal two damage to a creature. Deal six instead if it's a dinosaur creature or has amber on it. Smith. Amber whenever you play it. Gain two if you control more creatures than your opponent. Power Fire. I've seen that twice. Oh, Tremor. A couple times. Shorty, we know what he does by this point. Mog Hunter, saw him one time before, fighting, dealing damage to flank creatures. Iron Staff, pumping him up. Calfine, oh, I like this finish. Powering through it, and another Calfine. Woo! Oh, we made it through it, guys. I don't know how we did this. If you made it to the end of the video, pat yourself on the back. I didn't think there would be any of you guys left. I mean, this is, uh, what, probably it's 25-ish minutes or so. Absolutely crazy if you're still here. All right, guys. Well, I hope you like these six decks. Uh, congratulations to all the patrons that won a deck. This is just one of those fun things I like to do for you guys. All right, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching my videos, and I will see you next time.